Hey everybody and welcome back to another quickie crack and packs video. I am your host with drivers. That's right. This week is another week of battle for Zendikar on that search for those sweet, sweet expeditions. Can we find an expedition this week? Who knows? I don't have any pack blessers like uh, Unpacked has or, you know, nothing fancy. I don't, I don't have any fancy tricks. I just, generally my trick is I go... We're not going to see that in this pack. And then it shows up because it just likes to make me look like a fool. I think that is that is literally the trick I have. And I don't know if that's actually a trick or just, you know, the pack's just wanting to show me up. I think that's probably all it comes down to. Rot Shambler. Slab Hammer. Retreat to Coral Helm. Little, uh, little merfolk uh, colony there for you. Yeah? You want to... You guys out there with your merfolk. Hmm? Landfall. You can untap a creature or scry. And we've got a bring to light. Which is a five mana converge spell that search your library for a creature, instant, or sorcery card with converted mana cost less than the equal to the number of colors of mana you spent to cast bring to light. Uh, exile that card, then shuffle your library. You may cast the card without paying its mana cost. So, you can get a, essentially a 5 cost card for 5 mana out of your library, provided you have every color, which is possible. You know, I'm sure there are decks out there that have the ability to go and get a 5 cost card. I bet this card could be pretty cool in Commander, to be honest. Especially if you're playing a commander deck that's like, you know, 3 or 4 color, you can go and just like pay 5 and go get a card out of your deck and cast it without paying his mana cost. I bet that would be all right. Again, I don't really play commander, so, you know, maybe I'm ill-advised as to how things work. Skitterskin. Blighted Step, or Steep. Core Blade Whirl. Oh! We got Kiora herself. There she is. It's always nice to open a little Planeswalker. This is the one that has, uh, you know, all those octopus tokens. Can we get it to focus? Focus on Kiora. Don't care about the stuff in the background. There you go. So Kiora, four mana, two, a green, and a blue. Uh, plus one, untap up to one target creature and up to one target land. Minus two, reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card and or land card from among them into your hand. Put the rest into your graveyard. Minus eight, you get an emblem with whenever a creature enters battlefield under your control, you may have it fight target creature. Then put three eight eight blue octopus creatures into the battlefield. Um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. She is, uh, if you get that ultimate off, it's pretty much a, you know, pretty big deal to your opponents. You get three eight eights and they fight things as they enter the field. So if they have any creatures on the table, they're basically just dead. Uh, Turt against... Turn against, I should say. Ruination Guide. Blighted Woodland. And a Cinder Glade. Nice little uh, land there. This was what? The uh, the Fast Lance? Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Yeah, not a bad little card. And there's a forest. We, we got two mountains and a forest, and then we got the Cinder Glade. So, I mean, it's telling us that we should be playing red-green, probably. Maybe Splash Blue for Bring to Light and Kiora. I think that's how that works, right? These three packs are telling us we should make a green, red, blue deck. I think. Or maybe you're playing green, blue, splash, red because you've got the Cinder Glade. Who knows? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've been your host, Mr. Bevers. This has been a little cookie of Battle for Zendikar. I hope I'll see you next time. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.